Hello, welcome back to A Thousand One Beers and Must Try Before You Die. Here for my second beer review with Claire. Uh, we've done our Chinese beer, that was quite nice, uh, but that's the only one she knew about of the beers. So this is now surprise beer yeah, number one. Yeah, complete surprise. Uh, so we're visiting the Czech Republic. Oh. And this, this beer uh, was first brewed in 2001, and it's 5.3%. I'd never heard of it before, and I've never tried it before, but it is Pivava Herald. Ah, I have never heard of this it, either. It's a black lager. Oh, black lager. Yes. I quite like a black lager, actually. Yeah, so I thought that might be quite interesting, because yeah. uh, we just had a lager, so maybe on to black lager seemed like, really? a, seemed like a good step. Yeah. So it's award-winning premium beers, and it's got these little medals. Lots of beers have these medals. Now, I never know how much of them are real. Oh, no, they are real. Helsinki Beer Festival... And the other ones are so small, you can't read them. There's a lot of them, them anyway, so it seems yeah. impressive. And this one, uh, shout out to Kevin Durkin, the landlord of the Fox and Hounds uh, in Caversham, who brought this back for me from Prague. Uh, I was very, very pleased, so uh, really, really nice of him to do that. Um, now, interesting, this is 1506. That must be the brewery, because this one was first brewed in 2001. <laughs> this beer's not been around. I mean, Black Logs as a star have not been around for a huge amount of time. Um... And that's it. I'm not sure what else to say about the label. You've got this kind of nap, this sort of old school scene here, of yeah. castles and a man in the Looks field. Like a nice historical painting. Yeah. But you so, might see it's a gallery. Let's go right. So, Prague. would you like to read the tasting notes Absolutely. while I pour this out? So, oh, it's the Bohemian Black Lager. Oh yes, yeah, sorry, Bohemian Black Lager. Yeah. Uh, so pouring very dark amber with a sandy head, this dark and mysterious lager has a solid malt body with complex layers of licorice, chocolate and dry cocoa. Um, expect a slightly astringent finish that practically begs for another sip. A perfect match for rich Czech goulash. That actually sounds quite inviting. Which we don't have on this. No, uh, sadly. I'm afraid not. No rich Czech goulash here. A lot of them often uh, say about pairing notes, and I always have to apologise, I have no food. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Okay, right, so... It's so got it's a nice black. head to it, definitely yeah. black. Although, if you look, it's got a slight reddish tinge. It's yes, not towards the bottom. Yeah, towards yeah. the bottom, but it is quite, quite black. Um, the head itself is, is brown, Yes. Uh, which is nice. Lots of uh, large bubbles in the top, and lots of small bubbles sort of bibbling around um, around it. So um, let's go for the smell. Ooh, Ooh, it's chocolatey, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It's very warming. Mm. That's not how I expect a black lager to smell like. So no. It's, it's almost... Did you get me? It's, it's almost, almost like more, yeah, it's like chocolatey, chocolatey cocoa-y, malty. I wouldn't say much... Yeah, it's slightly malty. Mm-hmm. What was it? Licorice. I'd not really get any licorice. licorice. But I do get malty, chocolatey. Well, let's see if it has a slightly astringent finish that practically bears for another sip. Yes. I don't, what's, what's cheers and check? Oh, that I don't know. Okay, well, cheers and check. <laughs> oh. Okay. It doesn't taste like it smells. No. It's very... Hmm, I think I'm going to have to have another one. It's so. quite, what it tastes like, it's quite dry. And it tastes, it doesn't, it tastes more of cocoa than chocolate, if you know what I mean. If you ever think yeah, about cocoa it powder. Yeah. It tastes like cocoa powder and not chocolate. So it's almost like, or dark chocolate. It hasn't got any yeah, milk, like no creaminess. Yeah, it's more like dark chocolate rather than like no a milk chocolate. Yeah. No creaminess, no, none of that. So I quite like it though, yeah. actually. But it isn't what I expected it to taste like based on the smell. Still no licorice though. No, in the good. Flavor. I like it. So it says, unless unlike most Czech drinks, um, the beer fish is on the dry side rather than sweet. Yes, yeah, it correct. Is quite, quite dry. And less for typical Czech dark lagers, sugary coated notes, which I'm glad of. I don't want it to be. Yeah. It's not sweet. No, at it's all. not sweet at all. Actually, it's, it's actually um, quite nice. Yeah. Um, it says it's actually more like the Schwartz beer tradition of Saxony than the sweeter Dunkel beers of Bavaria. Yeah. Um, I was just thinking anything else interesting here. Uh, one of the few Czech beer makers to continue to use their own maltings. They use um, other beers they make. They make pale beer, amber beer, wheat beer. Um, so it's after several changes of hand following the Velvet Revolution in 1989, they find themselves again under competent local ownership. So this is not 
a beer made by a mass producer, not an AB and okay. Bev buyout thing. Um, it says, oh, however, beers from here remain relatively difficult to find in the Czech capital. In my friend, my firm, despite yeah. being brewed less than an hour in Prague. Well, there we go. When Bohemian Lager, Black Lager is passed on draft, it's considered a rare treat. Okay. Well, well, there we go. Maybe it's just gone out of fashion. Maybe. I think it's quite nice. Hmm. I do. I'm still not entirely convinced by the um, uh, practically begging for another sip. No. I it's, wouldn't say um, it's practically... No. <laughs> it is... I could see it going up with goulash, actually. Yeah, I could see that. I think because it's quite dry, I think. Yeah, and goulash has that kind of dry edge from the paprika yeah. and stuff. So yeah. <clears throat> you can see how that would actually would, would accompany that quite well. Um, dark and mysterious lager. It's not that mysterious. No, it's not. It's not. It, it's not very complex. I it's, don't no, think. it's not. No. Um, but it, it's... Is nice. It's not unpleasant. It's it is easy to drink. Very actually. easy to drink, yeah. actually. For something that looks so dark, it's actually very light to drink. It doesn't taste like a lager, though. No, it doesn't. It tastes a bit like... A little bit like a mild, but it is fizzy. It's, it's good. I, I would say it probably would be quite nice on draft, actually. A pint of this would probably be quite nice. Um, one more in the summer. Wouldn't be a summer outside mm. drink. This would be no. A, this is much more of a winter drink. This would be a wintry drink. Yeah. Uh, but a lighter one. If you didn't fancy a stout or a porter, a dark lager would be quite nice. Um, uh, black lager. I mean, black lagers. You can find black lagers in here in the UK quite a lot now. There, you don't still don't see them that much. I haven't seen one. So one place that does do a nice black lager locally in Reading is Zero Degrees. Oh, okay. And they still make it there. They still brew it there, and that is a good black lager. Um, Probably slightly sweeter than this. Um, something that is good about this is actually not really, really fizzy. Actually, no. when you drink it. No, it is. Well, the head really reduced. Um, it's getting good, yeah, excellent lacing on here. Um, so, yeah, I'd say overall a pretty decent beer. Um, certainly, I can un totally understand why it's in the book. Because uh, it's quite... I've never had a black lager like it. I've never had a Czech beer like this either. So I should have this It is very that. distinctive, I think. It is distinctive. It doesn't, doesn't mention what, why it's, what awards it's won, but it is a distinctive beer in terms of the in Czechs. I mean, if you think about other Czech beers, if I go back to the one... I mean, the, when, you think, when you think of Czech beers, what do you think of? Um, like, Budvar is Czech, isn't it? Yeah, Budvar... Uh, Pilsner, Kell, yeah. Star of Praman. That is what you think yeah. of when you have a Czech beer. Yeah, I, mean, I do normally think of the lighter. I mean, there are beers. tons of Czech beers in here, but they are most. There's very it's few dark beers. beers. There are yeah. a lot of Czech beers, but there are very few of them are dark. Um, and even we were talking about earlier with the the Zhujiang. I probably said it wrong again. <laughs> um, but it was nice one of the three z beers beginning with Z in, in the book, and one of the other ones is. Um, uh, Zhatek, uh, which I, I probably pronounced incorrectly as well, which is gone, gone too far, haven't I? Yeah, if you have gone too far. Let's go to A to Z. But anyway, that's that's a Czech beer, and we're talking about that. That's a that's a pilsner. Uh, well, was it a pilsner? Zhatek. There we go. Yeah, so that is what you expect a Czech beer to be like. Yeah, something really blonde. You know, a very blonde beer, blonde, lagery. Um, it's a part. It's a pilsner. You know, um, so this is really quite interesting in terms of that kind of style. But I think it might be the first black lager I've done from the book as well, actually. Uh, possibly, I could be wrong. You'd remember better than I would. Well, you'd, you'd <laughs> hope. You'd hope so. Um, I guess the beer it reminds me most of is uh, from the book I've done, which is Brains Dark from Wales, which is kind of a oh, mild, yeah. like a fizzy mild. Uh, it reminds me of that to an extent, although this is a lot drier, a lot more cocoa-y, but it is pretty decent. It really does still have the cocoa. Mm. Like the longer you sort of let it sit, I think actually it gets stronger. Yeah, beers, I've actually learned when I've been doing these beer reviews to let beer sit for a little while, mm. because the initial taste is quite different, because it's still... When it comes out of the bottle, there's still loads of, um, still, the carbonation is still yeah. fizzing around and it's still settling, it's doing its thing. It's better to leave it sit for a little while and have a second taste. Um, but no, decent beer, I definitely have it. Uh, so I have this litmus test of beer where I go into, where I think about, if I went to a pub, 
and they had yeah. all these they had lots of different beers on and I, the the beers were the generic beers like doom bar green king ipa yeah. uh carling that kind of thing if this was on as the other option i would absolutely have a pint of it oh definitely because it's ones. so That's like if you test. saw this it would be so rare and interesting it's not just the rare i I, really, I would really enjoy a pint of that over all those other standard bits yeah. um so good work to herald i want to say harold but i can't um because it's wrong um, and tamave especially pivo pivo means uh i think pivo means that must mean beer. beer yeah some of it's in english it's so weird award-winning premium beers product of the czech republic and then everything else is in check right well we'll leave it there and we will see you for another beer review soon uh, like comment subscribe goodbye